What I'm going to cook for you now is venison with fresh blackcurrants and a sauce made from creme cassis, red wine and port and finished with a little bit of vinegar. But the one special ingredient apart from stock pot is fresh blackcurrant juice. The venison that we're using is a red deer from the saddle. Cut it into nice big chunks. And remember, it's going to be served pink. When you put something into a pan, if you treat it like a clock, it's the easiest way to remember what you put in first. I'm an individual who does a lot of shooting, but I only shoot for the pot. If I shoot venison, the nice thing about it is I've watched it live its life. When you get it, you butcher it yourself, you hang it, you know exactly what you're working with. It's like when you shoot pheasant, there's something rather nice about the ritual of plucking a pheasant, rather than just shooting it for sport. Shooting it, plucking it, and cooking it. It's the, the nicest. So that was the first piece I put in. So I would turn them in order, all the way to there. So therefore I get consistent cooking. So again, we don't shake the pan. Just leave it to caramelize, then we'll flip it, and then we'll rest it, and then with the sediment we'll use that to make the sauce. As you can see, I'm cooking the venison in a cast iron pan yet again. I'm not shaking it, just leaving it on the stove, allowing the venison to caramelize. And when it's cooked, then I'll put it in the dish on the side just to rest, and with the sediment I will make the sauce from it. When you cook venison, treat it exactly the same way if it's from the saddle or a cushion as you would a steak. If you like your steak medium rare, cook it medium rare. If you like your steak medium, cook it medium. When the blood starts to pierce the surface, then you know it's medium rare. When it starts to really cover the surface, then you know it's medium. From the saddle, you could pan fry medallions or noisettes, or you could roast a whole saddle. The leg. You could roast a whole leg, or you could break it down into cushions and use some of those cushions to be roasted. The shoulders, you tend to, to braise in a ragu, which then can be served as a stew or can be put into a pie. Transfer to another dish, just to rest somewhere warm. Now, to make the sauce, red wine. Port, about the same quantity, 100 ml. About 50 ml of fresh blackcurrant juice and creme cassis, about 25 ml. Twist of pepper, or a few twists of pepper. Almost like a little poivre sauce. Chicken stock pot. So that's our basic. As it starts to reduce, we may add a little more port, a little more red wine a little more fresh blackcurrant juice. So in there at this moment in time, we have fresh blackcurrant juice. We have red wine, we have port, we have creme cassis. We have some black pepper, we have stock pot. We're now reducing it with the sediment. Remember, we're going to finish this dish with a little cream just to stabilize it. Fresh blackcurrants, and a little bit of vinegar at the end just to sharpen it if it is a little too sweet. A little cream. A little vinegar. If we put then the venison in there. And in with the black currants. And there's our black currant sauce. There's our venison with red wine and fresh blackcurrants. And what would go deliciously well with it is the creamed cabbage, a Swede puree. Root vegetables always work well.